All right, guys, welcome back. <clears throat> we need to build chicken water. We're going to use the rain barrel. If you watch one of the previous videos where we got the earth mined and rain gutter system and we have made that water barrel, we're going to use the water barrel because the chicken house will eventually put gutter on it and it'll fill the barrel up. And it's 50, 50 gallon, 55 gallon. And right now they're going through a good bit of water <coughs> a day and they're not even full grown yet. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to use a piece of three quarter pipe. <coughs> I got some poultry nipples here. These are the ones that you mount <coughs> on the side. They don't go upside down. So I can just pack at them. I ordered quite a, I ordered just a pack. They come with a whole bunch of them. So it took me a little bit at the hardware store to figure everything we need. This rain barrel has a regular like a uh, garden hose faucet. <clears throat> but you need this. It's uh it's for hooking up a dishwasher. It's a whole little kit here. Has the hose. As you're fitting, we're gonna screw this one end in, and this will go into the rain barrel, and this hose will come out. Goes into this. And you're gonna need, you're gonna need a half by three eighths. Was it a union? A bushing, they call it a bushing. <clears throat> it's a little bushing. It's actually gonna thread into this. Then also you'll need your PVC, it's three quarters to half, which will screw into this, hopefully. I did it at the store, here. Which will allow you to put a piece, piece, yeah, piece of PVC, I'm making a T, mine's gonna be in the middle. This will go in here. So that's all you, <laughs> that's what you need to get into three quarter. It's not a whole lot. I got a couple of uh, that gave us a little extra piece to work with because I want to come out the back of the tee through the hardware cloth and hopefully they don't uh, set on top of this because that's annoying. This is the current situation is they're sitting on top of their water and then they're pulling in it. Then the one thing we gotta find out, oh yeah, we got caps. We got end caps gonna be on each end. T is gonna be in the center. This should be a pretty quick, pretty quick process. <clears throat> uh, probably the toughest thing is I need to figure out what size drill bit to use, which I think it's 3 8 I call it cleaner, but it actually softens the pipe up too, where the glue can get into it. See if I can open the glue. Ah, nope. A little trick sometimes you can tap on the lid and then freeze it up. Just be careful, don't like bang the shit out and dent it. Then it won't free it up. The same old thing, push it in, twist it, hold it. You know, I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds because sometimes I don't want to pop it back off. <sighs> Alright, three eighths. That's a pretty big ass hole. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be three eighths. Extra piece. We can test drill a few holes. I mean, it's pretty. It may be 3 8 I mean, It just looks big, though, for some reason. We'll use this test piece. We'll drill a hole. Whew. I'll punch right in there, didn't it? No? Alright. It looks like 3 8 may work. All you have to do is after uh, we drill the holes and whatnot, we're going to wrap some uh, 
Teflon tape? I should have some, probably 10 packs of it in here. Yeah. And some Teflon tape. I don't know if I want to use silicone. A bunch of trash was in there. Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of trash. So we won't put the end caps on yet. Like glue. Glue it to the bag by accident. <laughs> Try to keep it somewhere even. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, probably plenty. Five on each side. What I'll do is I'll put this here. Keep it semi <coughs> good. They ain't perfect in the center, but hey. I'm not sure if the chickens will care. <clears throat> as long as we don't poke a hole all the way through. The holes seal up good. <clears throat> These things are pretty cheap. I don't know, I got like 30 of them for 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. I'm probably wrapping this the wrong way, but hey. I do have some liquid. I do have some liquid tape, which is pretty annoying though, because it gets all over you. And uh, I totally did this wrong, now that I notice. Oh. <laughs> I wanted the tea to go that way. Which honestly, it's not bad. It's not quite tightening up all the way. I don't. Feel like this is good. So the more parts I get glued in and don't have sitting around. Better. Unfortunately, some glue seeps into there, so hopefully it doesn't block the doesn't block it. Uh, for the whole setup. Well, I mean, you can't really count the rain barrel, but for the whole setup, it was about thirty-eight dollars. I know that'd be a little expensive, might be actually cheaper if we go to Lowe's. That's just at my hardware store. It's also like two minutes away and Lowe's and the other store about 30 some minutes away. Time is money too. Time is time. I'll tighten it down a bit, don't have to be like high pressure tight this is just going to be gravity I want it to end up that direction <clears throat> so when we feel getting fairly tight we're going to have to stop so we can end up in that direction like that and we'll make our hole in the hardware cloth this will come through into there does that have a gasket on it and this actually has a rubber gasket up in there I don't know if you can see it but we won't and uh, we won't have to put tape on there we can just put it on here and tighten it so that's neat for that but that's that setup you'll need. 
along with the dishwasher set up. Alright, let's get the other bar. We'll drill it. No one's 100% at any of this. All right, there's one side done. If I remember rightly. So let's get this drilled. Makes that one less part to be sitting around. Let's use all your little parts up real quick. It's one less part to lose, to keep up with. That one bar is good. So we got our, we'll put our end cap on. We'll flip it the way we're gonna put it in. So when we put these on, they're all facing the same as those. All right, guys, we got the water bar together. Um, I don't know when the camera turned off. I'll have when I edit it, and we'll see. But lost we'll some stuff of, as usual. We got our bar together. One side I got three eighths, three eighths bit, and we found out the five sixteenths works too. But the five sixteenths it doesn't seat all the way, so we're gonna test it. If the five sixteenths leaks, we'll have to cut it, put a uh, a coupler in <coughs> and make ourselves a new end or if the 3 8 leaks and we'll see maybe none of them will leak that would be better okay now what we're gonna do <coughs> all right stop choking is we'll take this up to the chicken coop this end fits on the rain barrel and it's got the little garden hose attachment so we got everything set up. Now we seem to go up here, bring the rain barrel up. <clears throat> also got to bring up uh, four cinder blocks and I think I got two cat blocks on top of those. I'm just gonna put it probably I wish my hardware cloth would show up so I could replace that. I don't, I don't like that, it looks ugly. We need to get another fly bag over here, get rid of the flies. But we're gonna place it. The barrel's gonna have to go over here in the corner then. Because we want our gutter, we want our gutter to run along, come down. It'll fill into the barrel, but the rest of it will run out. We're gonna dig down and run a a six inch pipe probably. I have a bunch of pipe laying in the back. Run a pipe underground and into the drainage ditch. So the excess gutter will go out and it won't flood into the coop. So I guess we'll put it here in the corner and then we'll put the bar, we'll put the bar on them too, roughly. Man, the GoPro battery sucks. God dang, it's almost dead. Let's get that stuff and we'll be right back.
All right guys, that's roughly how we'll go. Maybe we'll do something around this later. I still got, I still got all them blocks to put in, but whew, I've had uh, other matters trying to get done. And they stay in their house a lot. I don't know what their problem is. So, uh, let me get everything over here. We'll get the bar, everything. And we'll figure out where we're gonna pop it through. The hose will probably come through there and then on over. Let's go inside and get all the stuff. Now we got the hose filling it up so that we can uh, have water in it. We don't have the rain system hooked up yet. So now it's just time to mount the bar and then cut the fabric. Which I want to try to get this closer to the end. It'll be alright. Right. We can adjust it if we have to. That's gonna annoy me. I don't know. I'm gonna put two clips on it just, just in case. One top, one bottom. Alright. Let's uh let's go out on the outside. We'll make the connection to the barrel and hopefully we'll come in and we'll have some water popping out. Just to make sure I don't leave any uh, tools or nothing in here. Use this piece. I want with the longer hose just in case uh, it gives me more options. Just in case I needed to be further away or closer. If I would have got a shorter hose then. I would be stuck to where oh, I just had that limited amount. Now when winter time comes, we're going to have to figure something different out. I'm having a problem when I move this a little bit, it leaks, so. Huh. I hear them making hissy sounds. Oh, there it goes, it stops. Ah, and I got a leaks. It is leaking. That's good. Oh, the, the nipple itself is leaking. And that's leaking behind that, I think. So this is our 3 8 hole. I can hear air in it. Maybe we just get an airlock. Dang, the barrel's full already. Woo! Let me go, uh... You guys got sprayed a little bit, but... We got airlock. There. We can get airlock now. I'm still in. Just these guys leaking right here. That was very disappointing. Well, that was leaking a lot. Uh, I'm gonna turn the water off. I'll remove this and I'll put some more tape on it. I can't. It, actually, I think it needs a whole new nipple because it's leaking like the actual nipple's leaking itself. I'm trying to hope I could reset it, but it don't look like it. Here's some guys coming out. Check it out. Uh, let's get it before we run too much water out of here.
I'd say it stopped leaking, but it might have because it turned the water off. Uh, I think it was this one right here. Oh yeah, the water's already drained out already. All my other connections are good. I do have a little bit of a leak on the actual faucet. I had silicone on it, but now it seems like it wasn't leaking before. What's up, Brad? How are you doing, Brad? Yeah. You see these things here? There you go. Yeah, see, there's water. Yeah, once one learns, They'll see the other one doing it, and they'll all know. So, Red already learned it. We can just get it working. Are we ain't leaking? It should be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this one out too, because it was it was leaking too. Nice, you guys have finally come out. Been sitting in the dang chicken coop for hours. That's a good bit of tape now. Hopefully, that is it. Let's go turn the water on. Well, that's disappointing because Still having a little bit of a leaky problem, but I think they're figuring it out. They're still dripping. I guess they're just crappy nipples, maybe. Well, I think it's actually the pipe stripping out from under the pipe. So we may have to chop that piece off and do what we did. Five sixteenths doesn't seem to be leaking at all, and the three eighths is definitely leaking. The nipples are dripping a little bit on 5 sixteenths. Marine barrel faucet. We may have to drain the barrel. We'll see how fast it drains out. It is slowly dripping. It did before and then it just stopped. So I don't know. Everybody's coming out now. So I think they should get this water down. It's far from good. Because they're just dripping. And that's annoying. It's a tad high, but they can still reach it. <laughs> it's dripping on right over there. <clears throat> it's a tad high, they can still reach it though, and they're gonna get bigger. Cogburn's above that size, so he's it's good size. I just I don't like it's dripping. This side's even dripping a tiny bit, but it's the nipples itself. Let's see something. I wonder if we turn it. If we tilt it up a tad more, will it drip? Some of the drips is water on the bar. Some of it ain't. Oop, easy guys, easy. I'm not really going to call it success. It's a little bit better than what I have, which is that that one there holds seven gallons and runs out pretty quick. But we'll see how this works. 
Because I don't want I don't want the yard to be wet all the time. So. Well, this side seems to be doing a lot better. We'll come back in like an hour or two. I'll check it, and if this side's still pretty good and this side's still leaking, we're gonna cut it, couple it, and add new ones in. Although maybe I could turn them. I mean, it needs the force of the water pushing out on them. I'll turn it forward a little more. Because there's a little metal slide. And if it slide forward, it seals it off. Maybe that will help. And I also thought about maybe I could just hook the garden hose right into it. But I don't know. That would be a good bit of pressure right there. Unless you just open it a tiny bit. But I, I believe they learned it. They learned it. Well, guys, thanks for coming along on this little trip to sort of success on it and sort of not. <laughs> it might just be the quality of the drinking nipples I got. They might be not very good. So I will maybe order a different pair and see how that works. And uh, that's all you can do. You guys stay tuned, like and subscribe, and uh, probably got more land clearing coming up. <clears throat> uh, we have a three-point hitch boom we're going to build for picking stuff up. And we got them scrap cars we need to get out of here. So, always something. Get out and enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the nice weather. See you guys.